There was the voice. It came from inside and all around. <laughs> Who are you? I asked, trying to keep my composure. No. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. There are some fitting occasions where you need to sound scary. I'm Mike Russell, and I'm going to show you how in Adobe Audition right now. So earlier on, I recorded a voiceover. It was just me narrating a scary story and trying to sound creepy. So let's listen to a little bit now and see how it sounds in multitrack. There was the voice. It came from inside and all around. Welcome. Now, of course, I don't sound creepy there at the moment. Few adjustments I'm going to make. First of all, I'm going to select all the audio, right click it, and then I'm going to look for match clip loudness. That will make sure that every clip is exactly the same volume level. I'm also going to label this as VO, that's voiceover, that's me. And track two will be creepy, and that'll be the track that we apply the effects to, uh, to kind of like make the voice sound creepy and scary and all things demonic, if you like. Okay, um, before I do that, what I'm actually going to do is make sure to add a little bit of compression to each track and maybe even some equalization just so that we can hear the voice and hear it process nicely. So filter and EQ, if you're in a pinch, parametric equalizer, and we'll go for vocal enhancer. We'll do the same with the compression. We'll go to amplitude and compression dynamics, and we'll just set up a compressor with a ratio of maybe three, and the rest we can leave pretty much the same, pushing the makeup gain just a little bit so we can hear this nice and loud. Let's try. Was the voice. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let's listen on the creepy track. Welcome. Okay, that's starting to sound really good, isn't it? We can turn that up a little bit more. Welcome. And a little bit more. Welcome. And the limiter is obviously kicking in there to turn it down. Welcome. But I think that's going to work well. If we like what we've got going on there on track two, we can just simply copy those onto track one from the mixer view up here. Go back and listen to the narration. There was the voice. It came from inside and all around. Welcome. Okay, now I want to start to sound creepy, so I can layer on top of these effects that I've already got. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is throw in maybe an extra track. So let's add in a new stereo track, and we're going to play a little bit with some pitch. So we'll call this one Creepy 2, Creepy 2. And then we're going to take everything that's on this track, uh, hold down Alt or the Option key on Mac, and also Shift, which will lock everything in time, and we can just, boom, duplicate it to a new track. Now we can go ahead and add a time and pitch effect, the pitch shifter, and we can pitch down by maybe three semitones. Welcome. Okay, that's sounding scary already. Now we can actually go ahead, duplicate that pitch shifter over. So let's do that. Let's move that from this track over to this track as well. We'll go back into the editor where now we can see we've got a pitch shifter. That I've just budged down a little bit. So let's put that there. And so we'll also go here and we'll use this pitch shifter, but we're going to shift it down further, maybe five semitones. Let's listen. Welcome. Now what we can do to make this sound even scarier now is we can sort of do the pan. So we'll change the pan left and right. Welcome. So we've got something nice. And also what I'm going to do is copy over my compression as well. So we've got that all on the secondary pitch shifted track that I'm working on. So let's now go back and listen. Welcome. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty scary. I like that. Now we're going to go in and we're going to bring in some ethereal reverb, studio reverb, and usually a good start point is vocal reverb medium. Welcome. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Welcome. I really like that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll actually maybe stretch these waves out ever so slightly by selecting all, grabbing the time stretch tool and just dragging it ever so slightly yeah, to time stretch yeah, it. was the voice. It came from inside and all around. Welcome. That's sounding pretty crazy right now, isn't it? So we can put some other stuff on as well. We've got all kinds of stuff. We've got modulation. We've got chorus. Chorus is pretty good. There are some pretty nasty ones here, like a robotic bee attack or Project Nightmare. Welcome. Now, Project Nightmare really adds to it. If we like, we can go to the secondary pitch shift here, Creepy 2, and we can add something slightly different to give it a real stereo effect. Let's go to Phaser. Let's see what we've got here. And I think a good one to start with is um, probably let's go to Megaplexor and try wow. that. Welcome. 
That sounds really, really nice and scary. And actually, if I'm not thinking, if I'm thinking it's not quite scary enough yet, I can actually reopen my pitch shifter and pitch it down even further. So this is going to minus seven. And this pitch shifter, I'm going to actually put this down to uh, minus, let's go to minus eight. <laughs> And now we sound really super scary. So I've already got my scary voice. I'm sounding pretty creepy, pretty scary, just by adding a little bit of EQ compression to pop up the voice. Uh, and then obviously I've got a pitch shifter and I've doubled up the track. So I've pitch shifted separately on each track on the left hand side. Sorry, the right hand side, track number one, I've pitch shifted down by eight semitones. And then over on the left hand side, this left pan track, I've pitch shifted down by minus seven semitones. I've also gone in, thrown in some studio reverb, a little bit of chorus and phaser as well to really get stuff sounding good. Let's listen to the end part here. Okay, now that's sounding a little unintelligible. So if we're finding that we can always pitch shift up a little bit on one side. There is no God. I shivered. I am God. That's really cool, right? Really cool, creepy, and scary. And by the way, if I want to make it sound even more authentic, I can go onto a site that I really like, like Free Sound, and grab some soft wind sound effect. Remember, look in the licensing terms here. I've got one from Florian Reichelt. Uh, thank you so much for uploading that. And if I actually look here at the licensing terms, you will actually see this is Creative Commons Zero, which means no attribution is actually needed. But I'm going to attribute you anyway, um, because it's really good stuff. And here we've got some wind, which I can actually go ahead and drag onto a track of its own. If I want, I can also go ahead and loop this around. So we've got like a kind of looped ethereal wind going on and we can listen to the wind underneath turning maybe the track up. We'll call this track wind and play that. God, I shivered. And you can hear the wind just blowing on there. That's pretty, pretty scary indeed. Okay, so go and have fun and make your own creations using these effects and sound creepy at Halloween or indeed any time of the year. Like the video if you learned something new today and let me know in the comments what character would you like me to replicate or what sound would you like to learn on the channel in the future. Uh, also, if you want to sound creepy and watch another video, go and watch that video over here or here or somewhere here on the screen.